Peter Keller from Endeavor and from Richmond Management. First question, Peter, how did you get inspired to start Endeavor? Um, so, you know, not enough people know the actual history of Endeavor. Um, Endeavor started because of the shared experience that my co-founder, Linda Rotenberg, and I had with a group called Ashoka. Ashoka is the world's uh, largest social entrepreneurship um, organization. I never worked for Ashoka, but I met its founder uh, 20 years ago, roughly, when I was uh, a 19-year-old college student. And he, to this day, his name is Bill Drayton, became my best friend, and he's my mentor. Linda actually worked for Bill at Ashoka. And we essentially wanted to replicate the Ashoka strategy of finding social entrepreneurs by, sh by finding business entrepreneurs. So that's how it all started. Okay. And how did you bring your knowledge from previous roles in the corporate world uh, to bear on your current aspirations to support uh, entrepreneurs at Endeavor? So before um, I started uh, Endeavor with Linda, um, I was actually in graduate school. I was at Harvard Business School. And before that, I had started um, uh, an organization in Hungary, which is still around, an environmental organization. And then I'd started an energy services uh, business in Russia. So I'd already had the experience of living in Hungary and living in Russia and seeing what the entrepreneurs were doing in these countries. Um, so, you know, I, you know, in starting uh, Endeavor, I was bringing the experience of living for over four years in, in that part of the world. Okay. And um, in 2008, you launched in Jordan, and uh, I believe next year uh, you're launching in Lebanon. So, correct? Yes. Actually, uh, we hope to launch Lebanon, Endeavor Lebanon, in December of this year. Okay. So, more All aggressive right. schedule. Uh, so, what is it about this region that's caught your uh, attention? This region is so exciting. Um, so, I've been on the board of Endeavor Jordan since we launched three years ago. and. Uh, first of all, it's such a fun group of people. Yep. Endeavor is actually just about, you know, it's just a lot of fun. Um, but we have an amazing board, you know, like Ali Al Husri, Fadi Gandor, uh, just a huge, great group of people. But what's been really exhilarating for me to see firsthand is the um, growth of entrepreneurship in Jordan, relative, by the way, to the rest of our countries in our 13 year history. So, though Jordan is three years into it, Relative to where the other countries were, three years into it, relative to GDP, obviously Brazil and Jordan are slightly different sizes. Right. Jordan is equaling or exceeding our other countries. So as the first regional country, Jordan is doing remarkably well. We now have um, 10 entrepreneurs that have been selected, whereas at this time with the other countries, only nine were selected. Okay. Um, of our entrepreneurs that go to selection panel, over 80% get qualified as Endeavor entrepreneurs, whereas the global average is 65%. Wow. And Endeavor entrepreneurs are adding so many jobs right now. They did 47 million in revenue last year, the 10 did, and they're growing, and they're just wonderful, wonderful entrepreneurs with great promise. Um, talking about Jordan a little bit, what do you think uh, the reason is um, that it's, it's prospering uh, on that uh you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a sociologist. Yeah. So it's guesswork, right? Okay. Um, in comparison what I would, to other regions. I don't want to compare it to the rest actually, of the... I don't, other countries in the region. I can't really compare it to other countries in the region because I'm not that familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, um, you know, I've spent a lot of time in Saudi and UAE, but um, I'm not familiar yet. Uh, we will be soon because we're going to be rolling out with a barrage okay. across these places. If I had to guess what makes Jordan so special, is if you think about it, it doesn't have a lot of natural resources. True. So they have to really get by on their intuition, on their genius, on their innovation. And they also... And King, human resources. And human resources. And also King Abdullah has been fantastic. King Abdullah has such a commitment to entrepreneurship, to ICT. Uh, the former minister of ICT is actually on Endeavor Jordan's board. Right. And so they've just done a lot and continue to do a lot that really uh, differentiates them in a lot of ways. So what kind of uh, companies or projects are you looking uh, to invest in? Uh, out of my venture fund? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so the venture fund is about 11 years old. We invest across uh, the US, India, China. Um, we do mostly technology enabled services uh, like Salesforce.com is one of our companies and there's a couple others in the same category. Consumer internet, mm -hmm. digital media, like online ad networks, mobile ad networks. We love financial services, particularly with respect to technology like mobile payments in emerging countries. Um, so those are the things that we look at. And I would, we haven't done anything in the Middle East yet, but um, we should be doing so going forward. 
And if I think about the, you know, the areas in the Middle East that are, to me, most interesting and attractive, it really is, you know, the online ad networks, the mobile advertising opportunity. Um, financial services are so incredibly um, uh, important because so, many, so much of the population is unbanked, for example, in a lot of the countries. So I think mobile payments is going to be very, very exciting in the region. Um, yeah. So you feel the region is ready to take off right now? I'm super excited and I'm really excited about what Abraj is doing uh, yes. because, you know, they're going to create so much opportunity for so many other people in addition to their own LPs by what they're doing in the region. So the wealth effect, I think, is going to be pretty, uh, pretty substantial. Okay. Um, I guess going back uh, to work at uh, Endeavor and um, the entrepreneurs that are out there in the region, what do you look for in a high impact entrepreneur? How do you select? Uh, you know, that kind of person. Right. So, you know, I've been around since the beginning. So I've seen all our entrepreneurs, both the ones that made it, the ones that have not. And I've got to tell you something, whether you're Jordanian, whether you're Chilean, whether you're South African, Endeavor entrepreneurs all have a very similar, what they call in Argentina, onda, which means spirit. And that spirit is comprised of an unbelievable curiosity, um, a willingness to fail. Um, uh, a persistence to go as hard as possible. Um, big vision, but also pragmatic kind of, if you will, discipline around what it takes to actually succeed. So, um, you know, these things are all shared amongst entrepreneurs, no matter, you know, their bloodline or their, you know, where they come from in the world. And what would an entrepreneur expect to gain from Endeavor? Well, look, fundamentally what we do is uh, we are a search and selection engine which provides like a good housekeeping seal of approval uh, for entrepreneurs and countries that generally have very low trust and very high barriers to entry, if you will, okay. in entrepreneurship. So what we do is we lower those barriers and we create lots of trust based on our model. Okay. So, I mean, just to go back on what do you think the key qualities an uh, should an entrepreneur possess in order to be successful? I think they have to be passionate. I think they have to, again, be very curious. They have to be extremely resilient because entrepreneurship is not a linear phenomenon. Entrepreneurship is all about cutting back and cutting left and cutting right um, and trying to figure out the way forward. And they're always setbacks. Um, so, you know, resilience, patience, big vision, thinking big. I think one of the things that Endeavor does for entrepreneurs is, and if you ask our entrepreneurs, because we survey them all the time, one of the primary things that they come back to us and say is, Endeavor helped us to think big. We never thought big before, but now we're thinking big. Yeah. And uh, finally, um, for all the young entrepreneurs here, we always ask people like yourself for advice, tips, you know, key things that they should do. Okay. Well, you know, I would say the following, you know, mentorship and networks are so critical to the world of entrepreneurship. If you look at the successful entrepreneurs in history, they could name people who inspired them. Typically, you should know those people, like but sometimes you don't, yeah. right? So having a mentor, or at least having people who you may not even know, but who you've studied, um, who, who can give you sort of a, a, you know, like be like a beacon for what you want to achieve is very important. The other thing is get as networked as possible. You know, go to all the events that, uh, where entrepreneurs come together, go meet the, the VCs. Um, you know, being, being highly networked is a key to success in entrepreneurship and, and venture capital. You know, we look for the highly networked entrepreneurs. Obviously, yeah. Well, Peter Kellner, thank you so much for being with us. Pleasure. Thanks.